Kentucky DMV Motorcycle Practice Test Question 1. Most motorcycle crashes happen A. On short trips B. On long trips C. On gravel roads D. In parking lots Answer A. Most motorcycle crashes happen on short trips. Question 2. While you are riding through curves, you should A. Stay in the right lane position. B. Change your lane position as needed. C. Stay in the left lane position. D. Stay in the center lane position. Kentucky DMV Motorcycle Practice Test Question 1. Most motorcycle crashes happen A. On short trips B. On long trips C. On gravel roads D. In parking lots Question 2. While you are riding through curves, you should A. Stay in the right lane position. B. Change your lane position as needed. C. Stay in the left lane position. D. Stay in the center lane position. Question 4. Which of the following does not affect your blood alcohol concentration? A. How fast you drink. B. The amount of alcohol consumed. C. Your weight. D. The time of day. Answer D. The time of day does not affect your blood alcohol concentration. Alcohol can affect your ability to ride a motorcycle at any time. Question 2. While you are riding through curves, you should A. Stay in the right. Question 4. Which of the following does not affect your blood alcohol concentration? A. How fast you drink. B. The amount of alcohol consumed. C. Your weight. D. The time of day. Answer D. 
The time of day does not affect your blood alcohol concentration. Alcohol can affect, answer D, riding with both legs on the same side of the motorcycle is never permitted. The motorcyclist and passenger must always straddle the motorcycle. Question 7. If you are about to collide with an object and you want your motorcycle to lean quickly to the right, you should A. Push the inside of the left hand grip. B. Pull the left hand grip toward you. C. Push the inside of the right hand grip. D. Pull the right hand grip toward you. Question 2. While you are riding through curves, you should A. Stay in the right lane position. B. Change your lane position as needed. C. Stay in the left lane position. D. Stay in the center lane position. Answer C. A motorcycle mini lane is approximately one third of a traffic lane. Therefore, there are three lane positions in each traffic lane one left, two center, and three right. Question 2. While you are riding through curves, you should A. Stay in the right lane position. B. Change your lane position as needed. C. Stay in the left lane position. Answer C. A motorcycle mini lane is approximately one third of a traffic lane. Therefore, there. Answer A. In each lane of traffic, there are three lane positions in which a motorcycle may travel one left, two center, and three right. Question 11. When preparing to merge into the middle lane of a three-lane roadway, what should you check? A. Your throttle, to make sure it is not stuck. B. Your signal lights, to make sure they are working. C. The lane beside you in the far lane. D. Your speed limit, to make sure you are not exceeding it.
Answer C. A motorcycle mini lane is approximately one third of a traffic lane. Therefore, there are three lane positions in each traffic lane one left, two center, and three right. Answer A. In each lane of traffic, there are three lane positions in which a motorcycle may travel. 1. Question 2. While you are riding through curves, you should A. Stay in the right lane position. B. Change your lane position as needed. C. Stay in the left lane position. D. Stay in the center lane position. Answer C. A motorcycle mini lane is approximately one third of a traffic lane. Therefore, there are three lane positions in each traffic lane one left, two center, and three right. Answer A. In each lane of traffic, there are three lane positions in which a motorcycle may travel one left, two center, and three right. Question 2. While you are riding through curves, you should A. Stay in the right. Answer A. In each lane of traffic, there are three lane positions in which a motorcycle may travel, one left, two center, and three right. Question 2. While you are riding through curves, you should A. Stay in the right lane position. B. Change your lane position as needed. C. Stay in the left lane position. D. Stay in the center lane position.
Answer A. In each lane of traffic, there are three lane positions in which a motorcycle may travel. 1. Question 1. Most motorcycle crashes happen. A. On short trips. B. On long trips. C. On gravel roads. D. In parking lots. Answer A. In each lane of traffic, there are three lane positions in which a motorcycle may travel, one left, two center, and three right. Question 1. Most motorcycle crashes happen A. On short trips Answer A. In each lane of traffic, there are three lane positions in which a motorcycle may travel, one left, two center, and three right. Question 1. Most motorcycle crashes happen. A. On short trips. B. On long trips. C. On gravel roads. D. In parking lots.
Answer A. In each lane of traffic, there are three lane positions in which a motorcycle may travel. 1. Question 1. Most motorcycle crashes happen. A. On short trips. B. On long trips. C. On gravel roads. D. Answer A. Motorcycle collisions occur most frequently at intersections. Often the driver of a vehicle turning left does not see an oncoming motorcycle approaching. Answer A. In each lane of traffic, there are three lane positions in which a motorcycle may travel. One left. 2 center, and 3 right. Question 1. Most motorcycle crashes happen. A. On short trips. Answer A. Motorcycle collisions occur most frequently at intersections. Often the driver of a Answer A. When riding in a group, an inexperienced rider should be positioned right behind the leader. The inexperienced rider won't have to chase after the group, and more experienced riders will be able to keep an eye on the inexperienced rider from behind. Answer A. Motorcycle collisions occur most frequently at intersections. Often the driver of a vehicle turning left does not see an oncoming motorcycle approaching.
Answer A. When riding in a group, an inexperienced rider should be positioned right behind the leader. Answer A. Motorcycle collisions occur most frequently at intersections. Often the driver of a vehicle turning left does not see an oncoming motorcycle approaching. Answer A. When riding in a group, an inexperienced rider should be positioned right behind the leader. The inexperienced rider won't have to chase after the group and more experienced riders will be able to keep an eye on the inexperienced rider from behind. Question 11 when preparing to merge into the middle lane of a three-lane roadway, what should you check? A. Your throttle, to make sure it is not stuck. B. Your signal lights, to make sure... Answer A. Motorcycle collisions occur most frequently at intersections. Often the driver of a v Answer A. When riding in a group, an inexperienced rider should be positioned right behind the leader. The inexperienced rider won't have to chase after the group, and more experienced riders will be able to keep an eye on the in- Question 11. When preparing to merge into the middle lane of a three-lane roadway, what should you check? Answer A. When riding in a group, an inexperienced rider should be positioned right behind the leader. Question 12. 
Question 33. At a controlled intersection, how can you make sure that a car driver sees you? A. Wave at the driver. B. There is no way to be sure. C. Beep your horn. D. Make eye contact with the driver. Answer A. When riding in a group, an inexperienced rider should be positioned right behind the leader. The inexperienced rider won't have to chase after the group, and more experienced riders will be able to keep an eye on the inexperienced rider from behind. Question 33. At a controlled intersection, how can you make sure that a car driver sees you? A. Wave at the driver. B. There is no way to be sure. Answer A. The right hand lever controls the front brake. Answer D. Riding with both legs on the same side of the motorcycle is never permitted. The motorcyclist and passenger must always straddle the motorcycle. Answer A. The right hand lever controls the front brake. Answer D. Riding with both legs on the same side of the motorcycle is never permitted. The motorcyclist and passenger must always straddle the motorcycle. Question 33. At a controlled intersection, how can you make sure that a car driver sees you? A. Wave at the driver. B. There is no way to be sure. C. Beep your horn. D. Make eye contact with the driver.
Answer A. When riding in a group, an inexperienced rider should be positioned right behind the leader. The inexperienced rider won't have to chase after the group, and more experienced riders will be able to keep an eye on the inexperienced rider from behind. Answer A. The right hand lever controls the front brake. Answer D. Riding with both legs on the same side of the motorcycle is never permitted. The motorcycle. Question 33. At a controlled intersection, how can you make sure that a car driver sees you? A. Wave at the driver. B. There is no way to be sure. C. Beep your horn. D. Make eye contact with the driver. Answer A. The right hand lever controls the front brake. Question 41. When you ride at night, what is the best way to identify bumps on the road? A. Ride only where there are street lights. B. Use your high beam. C. Scan the road often. D. Use the lights of the vehicle ahead of you. Question 33. At a controlled intersection, how can you make sure that a car driver sees you? Answer A. The right hand lever controls the front brake. Question 41. When you ride at night, what is the best way to identify bumps on the road? A. Ride only where there are street lights. B. Use your high beam. C. Scan the road often. D. Use the lights of the vehicle ahead of you.
Question 33. At a controlled intersection, how can you make sure that a car driver sees you? A. Wave at the driver. B. There is no way to be sure. C. Beep your horn. D. Make eye contact with the driver. Answer D. Riding with both legs on the same side of the motorcycle is never permitted. The motorcycle. Answer A. When riding in a group, an inexperienced rider should be positioned right behind the leader. The inexperienced rider won't have to chase after the group, and more experienced riders will be able to keep an eye on the inexperienced rider from behind. Question 33. At a controlled intersection, how can you make sure that a car driver sees you? A. Wave at the driver. B. There is no way to be sure. C. Beep your horn. D. Make eye contact with the driver. Answer D. Riding with both legs on the same side of the motorcycle is never permitted. The motorcyclist and passenger must always straddle the motorcycle. Answer A. When riding in a group, an inexperienced rider should be positioned right behind the leader. Answer B. A driver inside a parked car who does not see you approaching might open a door into your path. Answer D. Riding with both legs on the same side of the motorcycle is never permitted. The motorcyclist and passenger must always straddle the motorcycle. Answer A. When riding in a group, an inexperienced rider should be positioned right behind the leader. The inexperienced rider won't have to chase after the group, and more experienced riders will be able to keep an eye on the inexperienced rider from behind. Answer B. A driver inside a parked car who does not see you approaching might open a door into your path.
Answer D. Riding with both legs on the same side of the motorcycle is never permitted. The motorcycle. Answer A. When riding in a group, an inexperienced rider should be positioned right behind the leader. The inexperienced rider won't have to chase after the group, and more experienced riders will be able to keep an eye on the inexperienced rider from behind. Answer B. A driver inside a parked car who does not see you approaching might open a door into your path. 